Hello everyone. In the previous sessions, we have seen how to get mail messages from Gmail by using a get IMAP mail messages activity. Now, in this session, we will learn how to get mail messages from the Outlook by using get Outlook mail messages activity. And also, we will see what are the differences between get IMAP mail messages activity as well as get Outlook mail message activity. First of all, we will learn how to work with get Outlook mail message activity. If you see on my screen, I have already created a sequence with the name of get Outlook mail message. Now, our agenda is to work with get Outlook mail message activity, right? Where we can find that activity. Go to activities, under app integration, under mail, under Outlook, you will find get Outlook mail message activity. What it will say is, it will retrieve an email message from the Outlook, right? Now let me go ahead, let me drag and drop this activity onto the panel. First of all, we'll see the properties. If you learn the properties, you will get 90% of the knowledge about the activities from there itself. If you see the display name, it will says get Outlook mail message. This is the name which it is going to be displaying. If you want, you can go ahead and you can change it. And after that, you are having account, which account you have to use which uh, for the to retrieve the mails. And also the folder. We have seen this folder, right? We are, in the Outlook, we are having different, different folders like inbox, drafts, sent item, delete, deleted items. These are all the folders. If you mention any other folder, you can go ahead and you can mention it. As of now, I have mentioned inbox. And you can see the properties over here, mark as read only unread mails. What does this mean? If you want to read only unread mails, then you can go ahead and you can select this checkbox. From there, you can go ahead and you can retrieve the emails. But if you want to water the red mails also, nothing but which are already read by you, then in that case, you can select this checkbox. Let me show you in the Outlook. You can see this is unread mail. This is red mail. Mark as read, right? You can see once it has been read, it is changing from one color to another color. Now I have selected both the options over here. Okay. And if you see the top, top is nothing but the number of messages you want to retrieve at a time. Okay. I can say top 30 records. Okay, this is the number of records that what you have. And once you have read all the mails from the Outlook, you want to store the messages, the mail messages somewhere. Where I can store? By setting a variable, I'm going to click on Control K and I'm going to say all mails. I'm just giving to you because of, you know, I have using mark as read only 100 mails also so that I will get all the mails. Okay, let me go ahead, let me click on Enter. Let me go to the variables and you can see all mails is a variable name and variable type is list of mail dot message. And you can see the scope over here. That is the scope of the entire sequence. Okay. Now let me go ahead. Let me save the bot. Now to know the number of messages that what we have mail messages, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a message box over here to show the count to show the count of all mails, right? How many mails that we have? I have given 30 mails, right? Top 30, but out of 30, how many mails I have received? I'm going to give the value as mails count in double quotes, concatenating with all mails dot count dot to string. Now, let me go ahead, let me run the bot. If you see in my you know, outlook, I'm having 200 mails and after that I'm having six uh, red mails, right? If you observe at the runtime, what happened? These 200 mails had made as red because of due to our option that we have made it as mark as red. Now, if you see in the properties, what it happened, what are the 100 mails that what we have, they will retrieve and then they're going to mark it as red. That is the reason we had 200 mails and after that, the two mails that have been read by Mark as read, that is checkbox that we have done. And then it has been fetching the, what are the 100 mails that we have? That is two, right? That has been displayed over here. Now, 
if you observe in our uh, outlook we don't have any 100 miles so what will happen it will fetch the 100 miles so the count is zero but what about making them as red no it won't make anything now let me go ahead let me run the bot now you can see the miles count is zero now if i want to fetch only mark as red miles then how can i go ahead do that i don't want this one right now let me go ahead let me unselect this checkbox and then what i'm going to do only mark as red that i want to now let me go ahead let me run the bot now you can see the miles count is eight over here this is how this both properties mark as red only 100 miles will be working now what i want to do i want to know the details of the messages which has been stored in the all mails now how can i go ahead and do that let's go to the activities now we are going to use for reach we have already seen in a such a way in the previous activity previous video that is get imap mail message activity we are going to do that in the same way now let me go ahead let me run drag and drop this for each activity and now what i'm going to do i'm going to loop by using for each activity in the all mails right let me go ahead now what i want to i want to display what uh, this item right i'm going to make it as email over here and then i want to what are the emails that we have stored like from to subject and all these things i want to fetch it out how can i go ahead and do that now i'm just going to use right line over here right line activity let me drag and drop this right line activity onto the for each body and then i'm just going to use email dot you want to get the two subject kind of thing but why we are not going to get it if you observe over here when i'm going to click dot what is happening i'm not getting all the activities related to two subject what is the reason over here if you see for each i'm having a type of argument in object now i want to change it to system dot dot net dot mail under that you are having mail messages you want to convert into mail message then only you will get all the properties related to that that's the reason it was showing an error over there now if you see dot when you click dot all the you can see all the remaining properties which we are having in the mail message you will get all these things now let's assume i want to get the from my activity right from which person that i have got uh, i know i got this mail then i'm just going email dot from dot to string and then i'm going to save the bot now let me go ahead let me run the bot once again if you see the mail count is eight we have given the message box over here right that's the reason we got the count okay now if you observe in the output what it is happening it is going to be fetching each and everything it is going to write the data in the output you can see all the uh, you know information related to the email dot from which mail that you got it all the information you can see over here in this output box i hope you understand how to work with get outlook mail message like by using the option like mark as red only 100 mails and after that how to retrieve the data from the messages now i will show you what are the differences between get imap mail messages as well as the get outlook mail messages activities if you see on my right hand side that we are having get outlook mail messages activity on the left hand side we are having get imap mail messages activity now if you see the major differences in the imap mail messages activity we have port server email and the password properties which we need to provide whereas in the outlook we don't require that kind of options because of we have configured this in our local and also you can see the secure connection that is auto and also delete messages we are having in the options where we don't have that options over here in the outlook and if you observe there is one more option that we have missed out that is filter to filter the data like you know from sender to subject cc based on that if i want to filter the data we are going to use this filter option now in this session i'm not going to explain you this in the upcoming session i will explain you how to work with filter options i hope you understand how to work with get outlook mail message activity in this session thank you for watching your past tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment session i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day